The people we spend time with will influence us. This is a fact, but many fail to consider whether this is having a positive or negative impact with their relationship with God. Now think about this. When we spend time with the gossip, our lips become loose. When we hang out with the greedy people, love of money grows in our life. Spend time with the complainer, what happens? Well, we, we simply tend to be downers. When we spend time with those who question the church's teachings, we tend to become more liberal in our thinking. When we, when we give our weekend to those who have one too many drinks, we're likely to follow suit. And when we associate with those who, who accept mediocrity, we get a lot more comfortable with our own. Our number one priority should be to be growing in holiness, for in the end, nothing else matters. Why? Because the, the teaching of the church is that only holy people go to heaven. And how do we grow in holiness? When we have sanctifying grace within our soul, this results in holiness. So the question is, are our closest friends striving to become Christ-like? Are they striving to be holy? Now some are going to say, well, but didn't Jesus hang out with all the sinners and the tax collectors? Yes, and he was in search of the lost, and so we must be too. In fact, we have a responsibility to share our faith with those who have yet to encounter Christ. St. Thomas Aquinas said, to convert somebody is to go and take them by the hand and guide them. We need to be reaching out. This is not what I'm talking about. The point is, if the bulk of our friendships are with those who are completely godless in their thinking, speaking, and living, we will become like them. And that may impact our eternity. I'll leave you with this question. Do your closest friends have a personal, alive relationship with Jesus Christ? And are they striving to become more like Him? If not, it doesn't mean we ditch those friends. It means that we need to start investing more time in Christ-centered relationships.